and, and creating a content calendar for your business. And we talked about some of the reasons for creating a content calendar is so that you don't miss important dates in your business or your industry and you're able to plan ahead and know what's going on. For example, this next month is, I, I, can't, I always forget the name, it's National Women's uh, History Month. I, I don't know if it's history or, or um, it's basically about awesome, uh, we're celebrating women. And so I've been working on getting content together for content calendars that I manage to start posting cool information about women for the next for the next month it's not going to be every single day but you know that way you know this is an important date that's coming up and so i'm able to create the post but instead of having to be having to touch each post every single day and to remember what days i decided or times i decided to post um, i use a content scheduling program and it just completely changed the way that i'm able to to do business basically, or to manage multiple um, social media platforms and still have relevant content. Um, you know, obviously there are going to be times when things just pop up and you haven't scheduled it and it's okay for you to just go ahead and post that information. But if you have, if you didn't um, participate in last month's class, I, I don't know, Lynn will be able to tell me if that's still available for viewing. And I think um, that she might have the recording. And if you wanna see that and get those handouts, um, I, if it's still available, we'll definitely share it with you. But it's important to create that information for your business. So you know, if you're in the food industry, you can create posts or there's like national food holidays. There's like burrito day, pizza day, cupcake day, donut day. And you can, you know, either A, use that to help you run specials in your food business, or you can just use it to do fun posts on your social media, which will help to increase engagement. Um, just, I'll, I'll, you'll probably hear me say this throughout the whole series, but we always have to remember that social media is all about being social. What they're discovering right now with the algorithm, because the Facebook and Instagram algorithms have changed and TikTok is a new platform that a lot of businesses are jumping on right now because it's, it's fun and it's cool and a lot of people are engaging there. But um, what they're discovering is that the more curated content where it looks very graphic designed or um, like not not like it, it's meant for social but more for just promoting those posts are they're showing right now as of this this month that they're not doing as well as the the things that look more more unique to the to a person so a picture of you or a picture of your coffee like an actual picture of something that you're doing and not um, not not like a stock image or an image with a whole bunch of, of graphics and things like that. Now, does that mean that you don't ever post those? No, it just means that those aren't going to be the posts that generally get the most engagement. And that's not a great um, strategy, especially if you're building your following right now. So the first step would be A, setting up your accounts if you haven't already done that. B, then then I mean, knowing your business and knowing what products and promotions and, and service products and services that you want to push in your business, and then creating a content calendar around those strategies. So my favorite thing about a content calendar is, is also when you have special events coming up or you're going to have a promotion, you can build lead up posts that will help to increase the engagement when you actually launch that campaign. So um, having a content calendar is super valuable. And um, Lynn just posted in the chat the link to go and watch that. So we'll go ahead and, um, you know, we don't we don't have a hundred followers yet in on on YouTube. So if you can follow our account as well, because there's going to be a lot of good um, content on there. But definitely go check that out. And it is organized. So hopefully there's other workshops as well that you'll be able to, to view and participate in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into my screen share. And as I'm talking and as I'm going over things, if you have questions, there's a Q&A section, go ahead and just post your questions in that. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to get through all the content. I tend to pack a lot of information in trying to get as much to you as I can. So I'm going to I'm going to get through the content and then at the end we'll have time hopefully for more Q&A. So there if you if you don't know where that is, it's it, if you're on your computer at the it's in the lower part of your screen. Um, if you move your mouse, you'll be able to see it and it's just a Q&A section. You can also post it in the chat box, but this way I can um, definitely make sure I get to your questions. Sometimes in the chat, those questions can get lost. But Lynn usually does a really good job of letting me know if there's a question. So let's go ahead and jump into our presentation. Um, I know Lynn didn't get a chance to to talk about IDRS and the ACORN project. Um, their website is nativebiz.org. Um, I work as a contractor with uh, IDRS and I, I help deliver uh, workshops and I also help with their social media and other, other things in their organization. And I'm super honored to be a part of their series on social media. So over the next now this would be month two, so we're every month for 2021, we're gonna do a one hour webinar on social media. And the idea is that throughout the year, we're just building on your skill set, and, uh, and, and there, you know, it'll, it's really, I'm really excited about it. So this month is all about understanding a content calendar. Another great thing is if you get on their, their email list, if you go to their website and jump on their email list, you'll get updates on the upcoming workshops that they're, they're uh, putting together. Or if you wanna get, be a part of a series, like if you wanna get notified when the next series for the social media is coming up, you can get on that, that they, they, they'll let you know and you'll be in the loop. So I highly recommend you know, starting to engage with them because they do offer a ton of amazing content. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Roxanne Best. I'm an enrolled member of the Colville Confederated Tribes here in Washington State. I am a photographer, I'm a yoga instructor, and I'm also a, a, a business consultant or trainer. I'm not sure yet how I categorize that, but I usually just say I, I help people um, develop skills for their small businesses. And um, so that's me. Usually that's my workstation that you can see in that picture of me pointing my finger. And then there's just a couple shots of me doing photo shoots. Um, obviously I can't take photo credit for the pictures of me, <laughs> except for the ones where I use a remote trigger, but um, thank you to those who captured these images for me. So today what we're going to go over is we're going to talk about what is a social media management platform. There's a lot of different things out there that can schedule your posts, but there are certain qualifications that a platform needs to meet in order to be considered in that category. And, and this, these are, this is good stuff for you to know. And then I'm going to show you specific content planning platforms. We're going to go over Hootsuite, which is one of the most popular and most used in businesses. Hootsuite has, you can, you can post to Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, you can tweet, you can, um, I don't think you can do uh, TikTok yet. But the main you can you can access and, and schedule for most of the major social media platforms, and then we're going to talk about later in Planoly, and they're very similar platforms, in that they mostly focus on Instagram and Pinterest, and so we'll we'll talk about those and the benefits and features of those. And then I'm gonna, the last one I'm going to talk about is Facebook Scheduler. If you have a business page, which if you are doing business on Facebook, you definitely want to start a, they used to be called fan pages, but basically it's a business page. Um, Facebook does have some rules about selling products on your page. Now you can set, you can share those types of posts from your business page to your personal page. But if you start to do a whole bunch of salesy type of posts on your personal page, Facebook could suspend your account. So setting up a business account or a fan page or, um, you know, whatever, whatever that looks like, whatever they are, the current, I'm pretty sure it's a business page, then that, then definitely do it. It's very easy. It's linked to your personal page 
And a lot of people say, well, I don't know if I'm posting to my business page or my personal page. You'll know. It's it's um, It'll tell you, you know, you're posting, you're interacting as Roxanne Best right now, or you're interacting as Roxtography. So Facebook has done a pretty good job of making sure that we don't make those mistakes. But I'm going to talk about why using Facebook scheduler for Facebook is really beneficial for helping with getting more post engagement. So do you have your content calendar and plan for social media marketing, but you're still forgetting to post? That was, that's like as a solopreneur, I, or as an entrepreneur who I am the only person running my business, I would like come up with these great plans and these great strategies. And then I would always, like not always, but then I would forget to post about it. Because, you know, business happens, things happen, emergencies come up that you have to deal with, and then you can't post to social media. Um, is it hard to make it back to log on to post every day? Or maybe you have too many accounts to juggle. Um, if you answered yes to any of these questions, you are in the right place. And even if you didn't, even if like you're like, I don't even know because I haven't even tried yet, you're still in the right place. But we're going to talk about using content management apps and so that you can learn to schedule your posts in advance. And we're going to talk about what features to look for in those management apps and how much those are going to cost. So I, when we do this, I'm just going to pull up the applications them, uh, themselves so you can see the actual platforms and, and we're going to go through them that way as opposed to me just doing screenshots. Um, I just I, I feel like that might be one of the, the most effective ways for us to get through this content. So hey, what is Roxanne, this? I just wanted to let you know that Mary had a, a, a question just whenever you get a chance, you might glance at it. Um. Oh, okay. Um, I can, I think I can go there now. Yeah, so Mary asked what, um, so what if you post in a sales cycle page? Okay, a sales cycle. I'm not sure. I don't know what that is. So maybe if you, um, is that yeah. like? So Mary, I would just uh, maybe explain a little bit more in the chat and we can come back to it after a while. Yeah. So what is a social media management platform? Basically, they need to meet the following criteria. So this is where you're able to plan social media content. So that like what we did with our social media calendar, content calendar, you can then put placeholders in these programs for the whole year. You don't necessarily have to create the content yet, but then you, but you can put those placeholders in and then, and that way, um, uh, in some of them. And that way, you know that, you know, this is coming up and you need to create that, that campaign or the, or posts or get images to post for that. Um, and it will also publish your social media posts. Some, some platforms like Instagram really wants to keep their platform mobile. Slowly, they've been putting things online so you can use your desktop. There are a few options, but I, I, I know that you still can't post from your desktop to Instagram. So if you're using some of these programs, these, these, soft, these applications, what they'll do is they'll send it to your phone. And then, so you'll have to have an app on your phone and then you post it to those in those social media accounts, to Instagram specifically. Um, it's also a, a place where you can respond to inquiries. So in order for um, the, these programs to qualify in these categories, you have to be able to comment, like, and interact through those platforms. The, um, you know, obviously they automate and schedule social media posts. So once you get that content created, you can just set it up and schedule it, decide what time you want them to post. Um, Hootsuite is to five minute increments. I think later in Planoly, you can do like one minute increments. And, um, you know, the old school thought, and I don't know if that's still the case, was it's more, um, more real to the algorithms if you post in those like odd times. Cause not all of us, like some of us may be this way where we always post at 12 PM, always post. Right at 12 PM, our post goes out. Now, if we're always posting at 12 PM, like on the button, which is what happens if we always schedule our posts at 12 PM in our, in our 
scheduling platforms, the algorithm starts to catch on. And then it's like, wait a minute, this isn't a, this, and they also know when you're using a third party uh, platform to schedule your post, but the algorithm that. So when you put in like weird times, like post at 1201, or 12.05, then it, it, it kind of likes that a little bit better. Um, store It stores content and archives posts. So you can look back at old campaigns and it'll tell you like how well a post did or how many comments or the engagement that it got, which is super helpful when you're trying to decide like uh, every time I post at 6 a.m., nobody interacts with my post or nobody even sees my post. There's no engagement, I have no reach. And then you can also look at the analytics and see, okay, when I post at 8.30 in the morning, I seem to get a lot more engagement or whatever the time is for your business. You know, that's a great way for you to get like instant feedback about what's going on with your social media platforms. Um, you know, you also get these analytics when you use the actual social media applications like Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest is when you have a business account set up. But the the management platforms, the benefits of those is that you can schedule things, a, a whole year of content out. And it's pretty, pretty amazing um, if you're that diligent about it. I recommend at least once a month sitting down and planning out your month of content. And then always being really flexible about things that might come up. For example, um, IDRS is a business. Uh, we help small businesses. So, you know, the President Biden just announced a new uh, shift in the PPA uh, program. So, you know, we instead of just sticking to the schedule, we posted about that as it came up. So you have to be prepared also to jump on trends and things that are happening in the industry that your business is in. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this and I'm gonna stop screen share for right now because I want to um, go ahead and Okay, awesome. So I'm gonna go to Hootsuite, the, uh, the application. I just wanna make sure I'm on the right location. And we're just gonna go in there and just look at Hootsuite. So all of these platforms, which is really cool, they have free options and they have paid options. Always with the free options, you have limited, limited um, abilities. But once you start paying, then obviously you get more and more features. Um, Hootsuite has a 30 day free trial. Most of these platforms will have a free trial, which is really cool because then you can go in and, and if you're if you don't use all of the features, maybe the free free version is all that you need for your business right now. A lot of times as business owners, we think we have to jump in and pay for all the things right away. But what I recommend is use the free version until the free versions don't work for you anymore, until you suddenly need those paid options. So with Hootsuite, you can start with their 30-day their free trial. And, and we're just going to go ahead and, you know, a, a lot of businesses, a lot of big organizations use Hootsuite as their planning platform. It's really easy to use. It's almost just like using your social media uh, platforms to create to to make a post. You um, in in Hootsuite, I haven't seen where you can really do a lot of manipulation of the images, but you can edit, do a little bit of editing. I would prefer to do personally, and again, this is just my opinion um, and what I've discovered through using a few of these different. Uh, platforms is that I like to create the visual content outside of these applications, especially Hootsuite. Um, but that's because I'm a photographer and I like to do a little bit more manipulation than what most of these uh, platforms will offer. So you can view and manage all your social content in a single collaborative calendar. So I'm going to show you what that looks like in the back in the um, um, in in the actual application. But it's really like super easy. You can turn some feeds on or some feeds off. Maybe you only want to see the content you have scheduled. 
you can look at it as a list or you can look at it as a monthly calendar. It's really, really easy to use. Hootsuite also has an option where you can bulk import um, social media posts. So let's say you create your content calendar in an Excel spreadsheet. You can there's you have to have certain uh, you have to format the cells and everything accordingly, but then you can bulk import it into Hootsuite, and then it, it works out. I personally have never done that before. Um, I've talked to a couple other people that have done it, and they they once you get it figured out, they said it's pretty amazing. So you can increase engage with customers across um, public and private social channels, which is really an important thing to understand is that you do want to be, because not all accounts are public. And if somebody likes or comments on your account and it's a private account, um, sometimes the, some of the applications won't let you interact with that account or it won't even show up in your, in your timeline. Um, one of the other cool things about using Hootsuite as your social media planner or using an app is that I know for me personally, like I look, I'll, I'll check social media on my phone and then all of a sudden I'm checking Instagram, I'm checking Facebook, then I'm on TikTok and then I go to Pinterest and then I'm like all over the place when all I was doing was to check the status of a particular post. So what this does is it keeps us from doing that as well. So we stay very focused on the business part of it because that's what we're there for. We're there to be social, but also because, you know, this is my 20 minutes to do social media for my business. So I need to be effective. Um, and so that's like another one of the really great things about using a social media platform. And you can also create, um, you know, a content library, which will greatly increase the amount of time saved doing the, the uh, doing so, use it, uh, managing your social media. Um, it's, it's, pre it's pretty awesome. And you can share posts from other platforms. It's, it's pretty nice. Um, you can create teams if you have multiple people in your organization that you want to manage your social media. Um, this is part of the paid option, but it's pretty, you can designate things for people to do. You can have conversations like, hey, I was looking at what you were scheduling to post next week and I noticed some typos or whatever. I, it's funny because some posts, the posts that I intentionally put typos in get a lot of engagement because everybody wants to tell you, oh, you spelled that word wrong or, oh, there should be a comma there. And, and that's what Instagram or that's what our social media platforms like. If we're too perfect and too robotic, it's, it's like, the, you know, nobody's that way in real life. And so like, if you ever see my posts and there's a typo or something, sometimes it's not intentional, but a lot of times it's pretty intentional because I get, it increases the amount of messages I get, private messages. And also people are bold enough to just comment in the comments that, hey, you, you spelled that wrong or that's not the right information or whatever. And, and that's okay because that's what this is all about. It's like, if you were having a conversation at, at a night out with friends at, for dinner, you know, you would have this back and forth dialogue where you have an opinion about something and then someone says, well, this is what I heard and this is what I understand. So, um, you know, anyway, that's just, that's a whole other topic. But um, there, and they also have what's called Hootsuite Academy, which I did their, um, their social media strategy certification and it was pretty good. Um, I learned a ton about setting up strategy for organizations, um, but it, 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 I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, there's, there's way better options out there. I mean, it's nice if you want to get the badge and say that you're certified, but um, they have a certification program that you can go through. Um, and they, and they, you know, the cool thing is they also have some really amazing blog posts. They, they tell you like the new trends and things that are happening on different platforms, things you should do or things you shouldn't do. Um, but yeah, so Hootsuite was my original uh, social media platform that I originally started using when I um, became a social media manager. Um, so these are the different 
these are these are the uh wait there's different plans that's not we'll look at this because there's i don't think that it's 129 dollars a month but so the current plan that that i'm on right now i'm not logged into my account but i can manage 10 social media accounts and i have unlimited scheduling and this is just for one user um, now this this rate is more for people who are doing social media management where you have you know maybe three or four clients or maybe 10 clients and they each have two social accounts um and this this is where you can have multiple users and have have a whole team but hold on i know there's other plans i don't understand why it is just giving me those business nope so Hootsuite is becoming one of those really expensive platforms um, for their paid options. But you know, this is when you start to have a huge amount of, of analytics that you're trying to get through. And Hootsuite will just streamline that for you in a really nice way. So yeah, these are these are the prices now. When I first started using Hootsuite, as a paid customer, it was $129 a year. Um, so this is interesting that they they have really changed their pricing. But you know, I mean, if if you are uh, if you're if you're generating like hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue a month, and this is like showing that it's working and proving to increase sales and help promote your new promotions and get things out there in a timely manner and it's saving you time. So, you know, if you value your time at $100 an hour and you're spending two or three hours a day working on your social media, it pays for itself within one day. If you're, you know, depending on what you pay yourself hourly would determine at what point in how many hours you're spending, this would pay for itself. So the other platform that I wanted to talk about is, okay, wait, hold on. I'm gonna see if I can log into my personal. Roxanne, Roxanne, sign in. I don't mind showing my personal because I don't really use it. <laughs> I don't use this anymore. I, so you can see, I just wanted to show you like what it looks like. So I could add, Right now I just have, I don't tweet anymore and I just didn't take the time to remove Twitter, but I could add a social stream. I could add Facebook um, and then I just need to pick which, which account I wanna add. And then um, I wanna do the timeline and I wanna do what scheduled posts and then posts that are unpublished. So then if you look down here, you can see that it has added those those uh, categories. So I can see only here just posts that I've scheduled for that social media platform. I can see here posts that I have not that I've created, but haven't been published or scheduled yet. And then in this, um, in this stream, um, you can, uh, you can add more things. And this one is your timeline. So I haven't connected the account. And I'm not going to do it right now, because I, I just don't want Hootsuite on my account. But if I were to reconnect, well, let's see what it makes me do. Usually what it does is it just pulls up your feed in your uh, in your social media platform. So you would just see posts that are on my page right now. Um, and then so you could add social networks. Let's say you want to add uh, Pinterest, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. So you can add any of these these platforms to manage with Hootsuite, which is kind of cool that you can manage your YouTube channel if you create a ton of YouTube videos and you're just looking to have something that will schedule those out for you. This is a great option as well. So that's Hootsuite in a nutshell. Um, I just want to see if you can. Oh, gosh, it has all like it has some of my old accounts on here, too. Um, there is a way to see this calendar. So this is just a different view. So this is a weekly calendar view. You can do a, a monthly view. 
Um, you can look at the content and you can look at promotions, but this is basically just your planner. Like you could look at this and be like, okay, Sunday, I don't have anything posted on Sunday. So I need to add a post at three o'clock. So I'm going to get out of that. And so I, I hit that the button. And so I just, I don't want to tweet. I just want to post to rocks photography and I haven't connected that account yet. So it's probably going to be really funny, but then you just add your text here. Like, hello, this is a test. And then you can add an image. So if I wanted to, you can use this to select images from your files and then it just uploads it here. And then you can see over in this panel on the right hand side, it is, it's showing you what it's gonna look like in your feed. So it's really cool to do things that way. You can add, um, then, then from there, so we're gonna just keep going here and then we can schedule it. So you can decide like, I want it to go out on this day. You can also use auto schedule, which it'll like read the analytics on your site and see which times it posts that are the best for your business or your for your platform when people are engaging the most based on your followers and then it'll decide like what days and times to schedule but then you can select the time like let's see we're going to do eight and this again this is an increments of five um i i usually like to do like a weird weird like it used to let you pick like 801 or 803 and then you can decide if you want am or pm and then it's done and then it's and then you're ready to go and then you just hit schedule and then it'll go it'll schedule itself and then now it's scheduled in my calendar so you can see it here so that's i mean it's that easy um so you can see why having all of your things edited already so you can just upload them from a file but the next platform I wanted to talk about is uh, one called Later. Later is, is one of my favorites so far. Um, another thing to consider when you're looking at these platforms is, I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom. Sorry if you got seasick there, but look for these badges. Um, if they're an Instagram partner, or a Pinterest partner, it means that you're not going to be penalized when you use this posting pro, uh, application to post to your social media accounts. So later is very similar. This is more for Instagram. Um, you can post to Facebook, Pinterest as well. But for those of us that are really focusing on Instagram, this is a great platform and Planoly is very similar because of this visual aspect that you see right here, where you can see what your grid is going to look like on your Instagram account. And the other cool thing is that you can see visually like what times over here more on the right, where that things are going to get posted. Like you can see Monday the 28th at 10 a.m. And it gives you an image snapshot, which I kind of like, about this as well that you can utilize to to like see what it's going to look like and then it's cool because then you can see like as these posts are going up what they're going to look like in your social media platform in your instagram feed which is for some of us who are um, trying to create a certain look or feel in their instagram this is a great option because then you can see like this feed isn't necessarily following into any sort of a, a, a plan. It doesn't, doesn't have a theme to it, like certain colors or, or anything like that. But, you know, it still looks nice. And you can decide, like, maybe, like, this picture here of the person in the gallery, maybe I don't want that to go there in my feed or this one here because you want to keep it more in the pinks because maybe it's Valentine's Day and you want to have your feed look very valentine's and you know those things aren't as important in instagram as they used to be um it's more about creating content that people will engage with so that's one of the cool things that i really like about using later um so you get that visual aspect first and it 
it helps you to, I mean, it really does help with the visual aspect of your Instagram feed. There's the pricing on later is actually really, really reasonable. Um, it doesn't have as many of the features that you might find in Hootsuite, but what you, what you gain is, you know, a little bit more friendly budget option and it's really it's really easy to use there's an app that you can use on your phone and a desktop version which is really really nice so and the visual planner is is another thing that i think is really beneficial because you can see like all these different times where you might want to post something um for for the week like if you want to do your weekly social planning and you know what I do, I also recommend for people who are, you know, using social media to promote their businesses or to promote a program that they're in is to, is to bulk your posts. Because if you spend every single day, you're going on social media and developing these posts, you're going to, it takes, they say it takes us about 20 minutes to get into the zone of the work that we're doing. So if every day you need 20 minutes just to get in the zone of creating one of these posts, you're wasting 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 hours, 100 minutes, hours, 100 minutes a week. That's over, like, I don't know about you, but me getting an extra hour and a few minutes in, in a week is like gold. I'm always looking for more time. So if I could cut that out, and some of us, it takes like 40 minutes to get in the zone. So, you know, you need to, we need to start looking as business owners at our time as money. And so this is a way that you could say once a week on Sundays, I'm going to schedule out the following week's social media or maybe Mondays. Um, and then you just schedule everything out for the week. That way, you know, you have some posts and some things going out. And then all you have to do is every once in a while go and look and engage with comments or anything like that. But it's a really simple uh, platform to use. It also has a great option where it helps you look up hashtags. If you don't use hashtags, definitely need to start utilizing hashtags. And their hashtag suggestions is really, really helpful because it'll tell you like the like how relevant it is to the um the post or to the hashtag your original hashtag like if i were to type in um senior portrait photography as a hashtag it would give me a whole bunch of other options in this list or suggestions and then how much those are relevant to my post and it's important that we're using hashtags that are relevant to our posts because that's another part of the analytics or the algorithm that instagram and facebook are using to decide whether or not they're going to organically show your post to your followers or to um, people who might not be your followers. Like when they, when they go, when you go into the search part of Instagram, um, this is, you know, this is where they, they'll say, you know what, you're going to be way at the bottom or you're going to be one of the top posts. Um, so you can also um, get more, more personalized with things. Um, you can do, uh, you can tag in the post, which is also really important. Um, so if the idea is that we're trying really hard not to get in the application itself, and we just wanna schedule and do work because that's what we're here to do at this point is do work and post these things, then um, this is great because you can do all these tagging, all the um, geolocations, all that stuff, all your hashtags, everything can happen right here in this application. Um, you can also, which is really cool, um, you can schedule stories if you're on Instagram and Facebook now has stories as well, but you can create stories for your Instagram feed that are going to get posted. And it's really awesome. Like the cool, this is new since I started using later, uh, but you can use, you can do multiple uh, Instagram story schedules, which is pretty amazing. Um, and then you can also, um, you, it's called UGC or user generated content. So if somebody tags you in a post, um, you'll, you'll be notified of that. And then you can in turn, you know, go and interact with that post and, and share it to your own feed or share it to your stories. It's really a great, a great way to build 
your following and increase the engagement in your social media. Because, you know, how many of us, when somebody shares one of our posts, we don't, we, we just ignore it and are like, whatever, you shared my post. If you're doing that, I, I, I challenge you to change your attitude and go over to that post and say, hey, thanks for sharing. I appreciate the support or whatever it is. And because that's that's go, that's what the the algorithms are liking right now. Real people having real conversations and real interactions. So you also get some really cool metrics. So an understanding of how things are doing in your in your your posting and your social media feeds. So I think everyone is is wondering like how much does this cost? So right now I'm on the free version because I only need one social set. Right now I'm not quite posting 30 posts to Instagram. I'm working up to it. I was all ready to jump up to this starter because I was like, I'm going to start scheduling out all my posts. But then I decided, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm narrowing down my expenses in my business. So until I get to that point where I'm, I'm actually posting more than what I, I get in my free plan, I'm going to just stay in the free plan. And then once I'm consistently posting and needing that, that paid plan, then I'm going to start to add the, the paid program. And you know this, you know this is billed yearly, but this is the the um, they break it down to the monthly monthly rate. But if you were just to pay month by month, these are the different prices. And honestly, the starter pat the starter is probably plenty for anybody who's looking at using this platform. Um, but then you can look down and see all the different key features. Another thing that I like about Later is that it has um, what's called link in bio. And link in bio, let's see if I can find link in bio. What link in bio does is that, um, have you guys seen where someone says, click the link in my bio, and then like all these different things pop up. Like you can go to their website, you can go to their blog, or you can go to all these different places. Well, link in bio connects it to the actual image. And this is really great for people who are selling products, or if you're a blogger and you know you have a very visual image that links to, to that specific product, because then, then we can, then the person, goes to your link in bio and then it becomes a clickable link where they can go straight to your website or your blog post or your sales page and it, it's really it's really cool and it's tra it's trackable and you know you can you can decide where those links are going um, it and it also connects to your Shopify if you have a Shopify account um, but you know, if you do the the light or the the um, the lower plans, it doesn't necessarily connect to that, which is okay because you can get them to your Shopify account or your website or your scheduling platform where you want them to go. So that's another thing that I really like about it. Some people say this is the coolest thing ever. Others are like, I just scrolled your Instagram feed. Why do I want to go into your link in bio and then have to scroll for the same thing? Me, I like it when I'm doing, when I see a food blogger and I see a recipe and I'm like, ooh, I want to go, um, you know, look at that recipe. I can see that same exact food image and go and click on that and then go to that food recipe. That's where it is really, really helpful. Um, so those are the plans and you know, they have a great, um, blog platform where they give you like uh, tips and tricks and different ideas and design ideas and, you know, tools on how to use their platforms. Um, and then lastly, but not least Planoly. Planoly is another one of my favorite platforms for Instagram and Pinterest only because of the visual aspect of it. Um, this is another platform that you can create stories. It's basically the exact same as later, except it just looks different and has a few different features. It is also a partner with Instagram and Pinterest. So you're not going to be penalized for using a third party application to post to your social platforms. So this one, like I said, this is very similar and just about every feature is exactly the same as later, except this is just for, for uh, Instagram and Pinterest. 
So you're posting to Instagram and Pinterest only utilizing this platform. But the benefits are the price. Like if you're, you know, if you're only focusing on your Instagram account, because what happens on Instagram is you can then share that to your Facebook profile later on, which is really cool. Um, and so, you know, you get two social profiles, which would be Instagram and Pinterest. You get one with unlimited uploads. So you can, you can load a hundred posts to your Instagram and then maybe 30 to your Pinterest. This is only one user. It's billed um, annually, or you can pay $9 a month. So you can upload photos and videos, which is really cool because uh, videos are the, the, the wave of the future. And you get analytics. You can comment and in on inbox for the last, the last 15 posts, which, you know, that's pretty awesome. But again, this is another way for us to stay out of the applications, the, the social media platforms, so we don't get sucked into the rabbit hole. And we were, you know, two hours later, we're still watching TikTok videos or whatever it is that we're engaging in. But the pricing for this one is, is a lot more um, palatable if you just have these two platforms that you're focusing on, or even if you're just focusing on Instagram and not utilizing Pinterest yet. This is, um, this is a really good platform. I've used this, the free version of this one also. And, and I, I really, I really like it. I don't think it's, um, any better or worse than later or any of the other platforms. It just really depends on what you need. Um, it also for the planner, it's very similar in the sense that you can schedule you see a full calendar and you can see what days you do or do not have post scheduled so you can go in and like i know for me personally i'm you know you get in the zone and you're doing all these posts and then maybe you don't realize it but you forgot thursday and so this is a way for you to look and get a quick visual about what days maybe you you didn't post or and then you can see like oh i posted thursday's post on sunday um, and then you can make those those fixes. And then you also get this visual grid view. And like on on in Planoly, like you can put placeholders here. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna post this yet, but I just want to know what my grid is going to look like. Planoly is very focused on the visual aspect of our social media feeds. And then you get some basic analytics. You can um, answer comments or comment on comments like comments and then you can create drafts and save drafts which i really like that too later does that as well and so does hootsuite so you can create drafts that are just sitting there and maybe you're like at a loss for something to post about in the um in the i don't know what would be a, what's a month typically march in march like there isn't a ton of things going on usually in march maybe i don't know it depends on your business and December is usually a slow month for me as far as, as photography sessions, yoga classes and things like that. So that would be a good time for me to have, like go and pull from maybe some of the things that I had created previously for that, just in case I need something to post posts. And these would be just, just be like um, in, engaging, engagement generating posts. Like if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? You know, those kinds of things that encourage people to comment and interact with your social media platforms. So that's Planoly, that's Hootsuite, and that is later. Um, I, In hindsight, I kind of wish I would have picked just one platform, but okay, so next, sorry, you guys are seeing my messages to my sister. Um, <laughs> So I'm using my photography page mostly because I don't really use this page anymore. I transitioned to mostly my Roxanne Best page uh, because that's kind of where everything is. I still post every once in a while to this page, but I just wanted to show you. So if you decide to create a post in your um, just from your feed on your desktop. So I'm going to write this is a test. I am so happy to be here and then i and, and then it, all i can do is post it but facebook has a publishing tool so i could click on this but i'm not going to do that because i'm just going to close this and no i don't want to keep it because i'm just going to go over to this the the left hand side 
And I'm just going to click on publishing tools. And again, like I wouldn't want to show you my other pages where I'm trying to build engagement because this one I'm not trying to build engagement. So I don't care if you see how bad my analytics are. Um, <laughs> But so then you get to this, this page and like you can try business suite, but all I want to do is create a post. So up in the upper right hand corner, you see that little button that says create a post. Now, if you have, um, you might have the video might be over this right now, so you can't really see it. So I'll move this just a little bit, just so you can see it right here, create a post. I'm just going to click on that and I'm going to move my screen back. And now it's kind of looks very similar to what it looks like when you're building a post for Hootsuite. So this is, I'm gonna show you another trick that I do. I type out a lot of my copy, which is the text for my posts. I type it out in notes. So I've already typed out all this copy. So I'm just gonna copy it from here. Command copy. I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna go command paste. And so then it's gonna populate here in it's text. And I want to add a photo because this is a visual post. And I, this post is about my March online yoga classes. So you can see it automatically generates a thumbnail down here. I'm going to cancel that for right now. Because of the, the uh, my Schedulicity link, this is the, the thumbnail that I have. But, and it's also the thumbnail for my website, which I need to update, by the way. This is not what I want people to see. I mean, it's my logo or part of my logo, but still. Um, but I want to add a picture because I want it to be something that I created and I want them to see. Now I could add all of these or I could add just one. I'm going to go ahead and add all of them because all of these relate directly to this post. So now it's uploading all of these images. Now I have the option to go in and I can edit. I can make it square. I can, I mean, it's already square or I can make it horizontal. So there are some like basic editing things that you can do in the editing platform. Like if you want to add filters, I, you know, I already created this to be what I want it to be. But what I wanted to show is I can tag people. So I can um, add uh, Roxanne Vest as a tag. Oh, there's my business page. So I'm going to tag Roxanne Best and I'm going to tag IDRS. I don't know if I'm following IDRS on my acorn. I don't know. We'll st oh, but anyway, you get the idea. So then I can save that. And now it's loading the preview. And if I want it, I don't have my Instagram feed connected to this Facebook business page anymore. Um, and this, again, I just, this is something that you have to have a business page in order to access, but you can also, so it has a link already and it's giving me a warning sign. I can enter Okanagan, Washington. So geotagging is also really important. You can add a feeling. So you can do basically all the things um, that you can do in Hootsuite. The, uh, the thing that I wanted to show you though, is that you can go into, so I could either hit publish or I hit the down arrow and then I can schedule my post. So then I can decide, like, I don't want this to go out today. I want it to publish. No, I'm gonna have it go out today, but I want it to go out today at three, oops, 3.03 PM, PM. And then I hit save. And then it, then you click schedule post. So then that's scheduled. And then it takes a little bit for it to get placed in the schedule. And it gives you this little thing down here that says, it may take a few moments to schedule this post. You can confirm it was su successfully scheduled by checking the post tab. So the post tab is here. So I could look at scheduled posts, but there isn't anything scheduled yet because it's still working on it. I can look at drafts if there's anything I was working on, or I can look at things that are expiring. Um, it could be drafts or scheduled posts or things that, that you were working on that are going to expire. I've never used this, so I can't fully explain it. But drafts is great because this is where you could create um, all your content or create random posts and then just put them here and then you can schedule them to post later. Um, you can have a library of videos. Um, and so you can see videos that I've already created on my page. 
and then you can like click on that and then you know do all all the all kinds of things so this this creator studio or this whole section in on facebook is great and the algorithm on facebook loves it because you're staying in their app which is what they want you to do they want you to utilize the more you're on facebook doing things on facebook the happier facebook is um, anytime you're putting links in facebook that are connecting to like youtube or your website or things like that it it doesn't like it because then that's pulling people away from the platform okay Woo! i got that was that was a lot so i apologize we have got i'm more than happy to stay a little bit longer to to answer questions if i don't get to them so do you need a different account if you have multiple businesses or can you use one account for multiple businesses you can you you Usually um, for like when I had Rock Photography, Roxanne Best and Fit with Roxy B, which were all three um, business accounts, I had to upgrade to be able to manage three business accounts. So yes, you do have to have multiple, uh, multiple subscriptions for those. Hootsuite is different because you get a ton. Like I could manage all of those on Hootsuite in their free version. So you could have three different business Facebook pages. I used to use the, um, I actually, I did the paid version of Hootsuite when it was like $120 a year. And I managed like, like five different social media accounts that were all Facebook. So yes, you can definitely do that. Um, in Hootsuite, later in Planoly, those you have to have individual um, subscriptions. Like if you look at, at Planoly, I think, you can add another account and I think it's an additional $12 per added account. I hope that answered Camille. Um, since my IG is linked to Facebook to post, do you just schedule a feed for IG? Then it will be, will post to Facebook or do you have to schedule? So if you have your Instagram set to automatically schedule to your Facebook, you don't have to then reschedule it should just automatically go to your Facebook feed also. But I, but so just not, that's not on this topic, but I highly recommend that if you're posting something on to Instagram, that you don't post it till Facebook until maybe the next day, or like you post it to Instagram in the morning, then Facebook in the evening, because a lot of us, I know I do this, I look at Instagram and then I go pop over to Facebook and I'm, if I'm seeing the exact same stuff in both feeds, I like, why do I have to, I, like, I should just follow them on Instagram because that's where I am and I, because I don't want to see this again in Facebook, but that's just me, not everybody's like that. Um, I hope that answered your question, Estefanita. Um, do you suggest linking our Facebook and Instagram posts? Um, I recommend doing it manually. Sometimes for things when I'm, I'm being exceptionally lazy, I will just have things go automatically to Facebook. There's no penalty, penalty for that as far as the algorithm is concerned. But um, what, you know, they really like us to, um, to utilize each, each platform um, that way. But I like all oftentimes, my, my Instagram stories go to my Facebook stories. Um, that's one thing that I think is, is pretty okay because people are still getting used to Facebook stories. Um, oops, cancel, answer live, done. Um, awesome, great, thank you. <laughs> answer live, done. All right, let me see if there's anything in the chat. The rhythm and what Facebook likes and does not like. You can you can use um, you can use those platforms to schedule, and it will go. If you have it in your Instagram, that it goes to Facebook and Instagram, then it will go to Facebook and Instagram. You, it, and you're not really penalized. It's just a matter of how much organic reach you're getting in your posts. hope that answered that question. 
Okay. Um, what do you mean by, um, Angela, what do you mean by different plans for Facebook business page? Um, Angela, if you're still here, if you could just clarify that question. And are there different plans for Facebook? Oh, wait, um, Patricia, what was that you said about the algorithm? I'm guessing that's algorithm and what Facebook likes and doesn't like. Facebook doesn't like it when you, uh, when you post to outside links. Like they definitely don't like YouTube links. Does that mean that your post isn't going to get seen? No, it doesn't mean that. It just means that you're not going to get as much organic reach. Um, anytime you're pulling, like on any of the social platforms, anytime you're pulling your uh, your your the viewers off of the platform, it, it's it isn't um, it isn't loved by the algorithms. Okay. And then Angela, I don't know if you're still here, but I'm still trying to, are there different plans for Facebook business page too? I'm not sure what that. For Facebook business pages, um, Facebook business pages are free. They're really easy to create here. Um, and and um, is Facebook okay with you linking to your website that takes your, so what I do is I have the link to my website on my bio because it asks for it in, and when I create my page. Um, I, I still do, um, I still do outside links. I mean, it's not, it's not saying that you shouldn't do outside links it's just saying that you, I'm just saying that it's, it's um, the algorithm likes it better when you can keep th things on Facebook. Cause Facebook right now has like an online shop. You can create, like if you sell products, you can create a shop right there within Facebook and, the, and that people can just shop right there. They don't ever have to leave Facebook. Facebook has groups where you can create your own groups to have all these discussions. You don't ever have to leave um, Facebook. I link to my website all the time and I, I link to um, Schedulicity, which is my new scheduling program for my yoga classes. Um, thank you, Donovan. Have an awesome day. If you have to leave, I totally understand. But if you still have questions, um, I'm more than happy to, to stick around for a couple more minutes. Uh, but just to um, Angela, I'll just show you really quick on Facebook. Hold on, let me see if I can get back to my, if you have a second. Um, you're getting a glimpse behind my, my feed on <laughs> Facebook. So if you want to create a page on Facebook, um, if you just go over here to this drop down arrow, wait, is it this one? Or is it this one? There it is. So, so this plus sign by my name, all you have to do is click on that plus sign, go back down here, um, page, and then you just create a page, you type in the name and it literally walks you through the whole process of creating your profile picture, your page name, your, um, your banner image, um, your description, and you know, what category do you fall in? Um, like, let's say art, arts and entertainment and health health and wellness. 
um, you know, so you can you can add all these different things, these different categories, and you can see here that it says what is and what is not required. Um, for those of you that have your businesses, the description, this is a great place to either a write a description of your products and services or put your mission statement for your business. Um, or just do a, a short a short bio of who you are if your brand is you and then. Um, and then you know you can add photos and do all the things and then your your page is created and the cool thing is is like roxa and bst um wow that was way too easy i think once i go to create it it's going to tell me that that's already taken um but you can there's multiple page names with the pages with the same name so it's pretty easy. I mean, it's that easy to create a page. You just go to the add sign page and then you get started and then click create page. But you have to fill in all those blanks. Okay. That was fast. Any other questions? If not, I think we're done. Q&A, there's nothing else. And just keep in mind that the algorithms are always changing. So it doesn't, something that I might've told you today in a couple weeks, it might be completely different. And you know that's why like social media can be so exhausting is because something that worked for us last year might not be working for us this year. And um, we just have to keep being, being able to pivot and make those adjustments. Awesome. Do you have anything else to add, Lynn? Um, I know Lynn posted in the chat the link to the YouTube video to watch the first session. Yes, and I can have, I'll have the other one uh, uploaded by tomorrow. The today's, today's will be uploaded by tomorrow. Awesome. So again, I just encourage everyone to subscribe to our channel so we can hurry and get to that point to where we can do our unique URL. It would just be a favor to us. It's not like you get notifications or anything sent to you. So. You can though, if you do subscribe to the channel okay. and, and like it, you can turn on notifications so that mm -hmm. when videos are uploaded, you get notified, which is cool. All right. Well, everyone have an amazing day and, you know, any questions outside that you, you know, maybe don't want to ask in the group or in the chat, you just email Lynn or um, reach out to IDRS on Facebook or Instagram and we'll do our very best to answer those questions for you. And go like and follow IDRS Acorn Project on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> All right.